What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Sweaty Zeus. We're back again with the Mance of the Hollowed Brothers. It's about where we ended last time. I know that um, Vestige is a little short distance from here, but you should remember how to get here. We're going to go back up the shortcut and work our way in from the elevator. I'm going to go back and grab this uh, tattered banner that I forgot to pick up, even though I walked right by it. Or the damage standard, sorry. And then there, we'll get the banner uh, a little later. I don't know why I thought there was a item back here before, but um, I checked and it wasn't there, so. I don't know if it's something they moved. Or I'm, I may have it confused with the elevator when we go into the Empyrean later on. So, I... In this area, I would just recommend having whatever uh, armor you got that's going to resist the most holy, obviously. Holy and then smite secondarily. Uh, you can throw down a seed here if you want. I probably wouldn't yet because we're going to get one real shortly. It's kind of weird, like, this part, you got to, like, if that's not broke, it's a little hard to get out, but. So take this guy out. He's gonna have a uh, parasite, but if you can do enough damage, sometimes you can just hit right through it. All right, and then down here we've got a um, ravenous fascinator. So don't pick that up. And you can kind of overlook down here. This is where we started in the Leposarium. Where we ended the last episode, I think. That's the top area to where we were spawning to kill that holy bulwark. Oh, I hate when they're on a ledge like that. I can't get them. Oh, well, we'll get him in a second. So, um, there's a mendacious massage right in this area, so just be careful. And then if we head up this way, there's going to be a spot. It's probably the best to throw your seed right inside this door right here. And we'll loop back around here in a little bit. But don't follow that path right out the door yet. The, there's a boss right there. We're not going to hit it just yet unless you want. And then we're going to go in here. There should be a... There he is. And the vow right inside that doorway. And we're gonna go inside here. Grab the ring of shelter, which is uh, it's pretty good because it provides. If you just want to set and forget, it's a good option because it provides all elemental defense. So there's another vow in this room. Now we can open this gate here. No, that's the one, sorry. That's the shortcut gate. We're going to drop the ladder. That's what I was thinking. And then that will shortcut to the earlier part of the level when we came from the uh, other building, crossed over in the Holy Bulwarks on the path in between the buildings. Right after him, there's a, that ladder there. So right here, um, you're going to have to go uh, into Umbral to t go up the ladder. And uh, when you do, there's going to be, be a bringer of stillness right outside the door. So take him out. We'll get that run like so many times. By the way, I learned too, I didn't know this, but um, if you do a uh, Umbral finisher... Uh, where you finish with the lamp, uh, it drops a rune, like, I don't know if it's 100% or like 90%, but it definitely gives you a higher drop rate of runes on enemies. So, um, if you're looking for good runes, that's a way to farm them. Uh, I got a uh, umbral build, so I, on my uh, uh, walkthrough prep, uh, 
I keep, keep calling it an account. It's not really an account, but on my walkthrough prep playthrough, um, I turned, and there could be a resonator. There he is. Oh, shit. Oh. You always got to watch out for that move. That's the one that always gets me. But uh, come down here. Let him come down to you. But anyways, I, I reclassed that um, character to Umbral. And uh, I used the ring that allows me to cast Holy Sorceries as well on it. So it's kind of cool. So we're going to get a real, real powerful, uh, in my opinion, one of the best spells in the game right up there with uh, Lucent Beam. Uh, but it's this one's more for taking on bosses and mobs. Um, like big bosses that have, uh, you know, take up a lot of area. That's what I'm saying. And, uh, anyways, uh, so I was, I can cast, um, either Umbral or Radiant with it. So it's really potent. And, uh, with a lot of the Umbral spells, you're doing a lot of wither damage. So that's the way to uh, get the Umbral finisher is, uh, if someone's wither takes up their full health bar, you'll get that uh, option. So there's the hollow triptych. Triptych? I don't know why I can't say that word, but that's a good um, pendant. I think that one actually increases uh, posture damage from holy spells. You can go in that room up top. Or down here, they're both going to kind of share the same space. And then that will go back down to another area we're about to hit. But grab this in here. It's the two large shards. Um, if you're in that room when it's not an umbral, the floor is going to be gone. A lot of it. So I might as well just go down there and grab it now. That was weird. He was like almost too far out there. All right, we're gonna go play this umbral tumor here. Enhance the curse to dart, which I won't really use, but let's nice throw that on. I threw on my dread resist ring there just so we could not have the red reaper come out just yet. That's the one that's gonna slow the timer for him coming out. So this is an interesting spot here. You can come at it from the bottom or you can come down that way. Um, what's interesting about this area is there's so many ways in and out. There's two ways to come at that right there. But a lot of this, um, a lot, and the, there's that door. I was just trying to open just a second ago. Uh, but a lot of this you can, you know, you can go in in different ways. There's not really like a set path to follow, so I'm just kind of showing you the path I took and where all the items are. So you can you can really go about this coming at it in any way you want, or just kind of wander around to you find everything. That drops down to the main room there. But be sure to open that before you drop down. Again, that'll bring us right here. As I was saying earlier, this is probably the best spot to throw your seedling. It's right in the, the center of this building. Right by the boss fight. So that way when you're ready to do the boss fight, you, uh, you know, if you die, you don't have very far to go. I'm going to keep pumping vitality for right now. I don't think we have enough for another level. It's a little ways away. And then you can, that's another spot you could farm that guy. He's just like right there. We're going to drop down there anyway, so. Might as well use Rabbit's Foot. Let me get some large Geralium. interesting they were such a problem earlier and they've become pretty easy to deal with now so now I'm gonna go around 
Actually, we gotta go up here and then we'll drop down and open that door. We can open all the doors towards the outside from this room. There we go. There's a few avowed and dogs in these little side rooms. I'll run over and grab that. That goes to the courtyard. We were in at the top of the elevator we just took a little bit ago. Run up here and grab the trio. And there's a Crimson Rector in here. You can kind of sneak around without alerting him. I didn't mean to alert him yet, but we'll go ahead and kill him. You want to wait for him to do that move, and then that's when you want to attack right after. Oh, let them drop. They will drop their uh, armor set, which is pretty pretty decent looking one. If you're looking for something, you no know, good holy armor set. We need Abbot Vernoff's key for that. Which that's there's going to be another quintessence in there. We'll go ahead and get that key right now. It's going to be right there. Right on the dais. I think there was another enemy in here, but maybe not. Maybe it's in this part of the room. We got another avowed and dog over here. And then if you face through this, there's going to be an item in there. Watch out because they pull you into Umbral. It's too large to There we go. There's the dog, there's another avowed. This opens, and that's gonna open to that other Crimson Rector. It's walking around this fountain. We encountered him in the last episode, if you remember. Crossbowman there too. Another thing I like about the sword is when dealing with dogs, since it doesn't do physical, it does pure holy, it uh, doesn't hit their face mask. And uh, like it kind of is a block where we bounce off, you know. There's a Sin Eater, or not a Sin Eater, what are they, uh, yeah, wait, what are they called? What are they called, Sin Eater? I don't remember. I think they're called Sin Eater or something. The uh, Hounds. Mistress of Hounds or whatever. Anyways, this is where you'll find your uh, Radiant Arrows. And then we're going to go down to that area down there. There's a... Um, what you call it down there? A uh, Stigma for Byron's story. So I did find out too. The um, Light Reaper Swords... I was talking about in the last episode, you have to finish Isaac's quest line. Um, and to do so, you cannot uh, kill the Light Reaper early, which kind of sucks. Which is so I already did it. But you don't have to, it's kind of complicated. Um, you have to get all of Isaac's vest or uh, stigmas, which I've talked about before. And we'll definitely do that. But you have to not kill the Light Reaper for any of the three early fights. And then in the last one, where we'll meet him towards the end of the game, if you summon... Oh, sorry. Once you, I skipped a step. Once you get all of Isaac's uh, stigmas, then you will... Um, 
have an area unlocked if you remember there was that uh, gate that was at the very beginning of the game we couldn't open it was like in umbral there's two doors go ahead and open this and then our buddy the captain from earlier what's his name I forget his name. So you still live. Stormont, yeah. Stormont. He'll sell a bunch more stuff here. This threshold will mean nothing to you. Yet it was once forbidden for any man to set foot on the grounds of the Abbey. It's not going to sell the spell we want from him just yet, but I'll have some new ones. Orders collapse. Still. Maurice's judgments is what I'm talking about. But, our immaculate lady but anyways, uh, I was skipping around talking about it. But basically, we got to follow Pal Paladin Isaac's quest line. We've got to get all his stigmas. We have to fight um, Isaac. And then we also have to go to that door I was talking about at the very beginning of the game. It's only an umbral. Um, it was right after our first Light Reaper fight. And then... Um, You'll go down there, you'll get all of his equipment, which is the DLC, you know, equipment you can start with. And then you'll have access to that, and then um, after that, you have to go fight him, or before that you fight him, sorry. And then you go, to the, at the end of the game, you um, summon Isaac for the Light Reaper fight. And then... You can get the Light Reaper's weapons, and then they will do the beam attack, special attack. But if you, I guess if you get the Light Reaper weapons before that, you're just shit out of luck. Which kind of sucks, but I didn't know that at the time. A lot of this will probably be released, you know, a week or two later after I go through and edit it. And uh, get it all ready. And, um... <coughs> release these I'm just buying some of the stuff he has so we have it in inventory uh, we'll get another chance to meet with him a little later Our immaculate lady will bring but I would suggest buying things you want because we'll have that chance to meet with him and then after that he'll be gone um, but anyways yeah a lot of this stuff may be more well known by the time I get it released but a lot of this I'm recording you know, um, a couple of weeks after the game's been out, so I'm just learning as I go here. A lot of this stuff is online at this point, but it's not like you know, you might have to look for it a little bit. So the way I do these is I go through, discover everything for myself, do some walkthrough prep, create my, my own uh, walkthrough. And then, you know, I'll go back and check it with, you know, other people's information later on and make sure I haven't missed anything. So, there may be, you know, little things like that that I don't know at the time till later on. Just getting rid of all this shit that I don't want. Clutter, clutters up my inventory. I don't like the stuff that has uh, like candles all over it. I don't know, it's just kind of weird looking. In radiance, judgment. Got a couple decent shields. I really like the one we just got. I think we already, yeah, we already got it, right? The one with the three. Um, this is like the. Trinity Shield or something, but it's got the three uh, knights that defeated a deer, I guess, back a long time ago in the story or whatever. Three hooded figures. I kind of like the way that one looks. Alright, and then that's going to be the tower we talked about a lot of, long time ago, the Tower of Penance. We'll get our uh, third and final rune tablet there, which will allow us to equip a third rune in weapons. I think they need to be plus nine, usually. Alright, so there's going to be a 
womb of uh, despair in here. Just be careful merging in unless you want to fight her in the cramped quarters. I'll go ahead and do it, but... Be careful coming in there because he can pull you in. Unless you want to go into Umbral. You know, just be ready to drop your lantern as soon as she gets up on you. Alright. There's nothing else up here. Uh, there's a little seabed right here if, if you want to use it. And then this door will have to open from the other side. Our quintessence will be in there. And then there's another stigma right here. You look exhausted, Pieta. Do you bring any better news? I'm afraid not, my lady. The number of those affected rises, and all my blood and our healing sorceries can do is offer temporary relief. And little at that, this disease is unnatural. And I believe I know why. My lady, I believe this corruption to be Rogar in nature. Impossible. The beacon stand and Adir and the Rogar remain imprisoned. I assure you, this is that shield I was just talking about. As best you can, until you find the true cause of this malady. I have every faith in you. You can also throw a seed down at Stelmond if you want. It's not a bad place. You don't have to go back too far to work your way to this area. So we need to kill this guy. You don't have to, but I usually like to kill them as they have good rune drops. Nothing there, but you get a vestige seed always. It's guaranteed. So that, that's nice. Go ahead and head back out of Umbral. Get our rest here. You need to go up there. There's on that overhead uh, rafter, there's going to be another pendant we can get. There we go. Same room, room again. <laughs> oh wow, I always feel like I can fit through there, but you can't. So this is how we can get to that rafter area I was talking about. I'll go ahead and flay this. 
Robert Nance, I'm a burrower. Then this is kind of tricky. You want to actually drop onto the cross, and then you can roll or run down to this next area. Grab that item. Is this not the right room? Actually, I think it's the other room. But you can walk back over here. Yeah, it's the other building. It's the first building ceiling that has the... Um, I think it's the serpent. Some, something serpent pendant. Which is going to allow us to reload our crossbow with dodges. So we'll roll down here. Then you can come at this the other way. Here's a uh, way you can run and jump, which of course I miss it, but you can come at that jump from the other side inside the main room of that uh, church there. There is a um, over by where the avowed and dog were by the doors we unlocked just a little minute ago. Uh, there's a path that leads upward to the upstairs and then it kind of comes out on that ledge I was trying to jump to. So like I said, this whole area has a lot of intertwining paths and uh, there's really no right or wrong way to get everything or to go everywhere, but it's just the path that I took. So, And if I did it again, I'd probably take a little different path, you know? So, that dude has such far tracking when he lunges, it's so crazy. You just feel like you're out of his range, but you never are. <laughs> you're a good 50 feet away. beam just literally as soon as it touches the dog they're gone there's that path right there those stairs right there and they'll lead up around to that ledge we were at all right there's gonna be a crimson rector in here as well get our mana charge back up and Oh, he just barely got that off. They cast that uh, mirror thing so fast. Where it copies itself and it, you know, overhead slams you. Free one here. We got all these guys hanging out. Man, another dog. Watch out for the grab, that's the main thing. It'll take about half your health usually. Turned around there, went back out that same door. I had to check my notes, see what else we had to do. Go up the ladder. Remember, you can go around that spiral. 
or a wraparound staircase downstairs to get up to this area as well. But you can also get over there over this way. Where went? No, I don't know. The that <laughs> wasn't a good idea. <laughs> I was thinking we could make the jump, but it <laughs> made it farther. Do you want to jump from that level to rooftop? Or not that level, sorry, you're going to drop down. I'll go ahead and take you out first, good idea. I didn't even notice, but I had to edit out <laughs> two more attempts. I failed to jump. Just jump at the last second, you'll be alright. It was a nice slick little edit, if I do say so myself. You pause it, you can probably tell, but it just looked like the frame rate dropped. <laughs> alright, we got another holy bulwark up here. Just watch that um, false floor there when you come in. pretty much it up here. There's this, um, you know, like a uh, ammo satchel on the window, and then that goes back into the main church room, and then, like I said, this comes back down here where the dogs were. Does that drop? Got the Mendacious Visage out here. Shit, we're getting overloaded. Oh no, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh, I'm stuck. Fuck. One more time. Oh, we made it out. Sweet. Oh no, the Sin Piercer ran out here. That's what they're called. I couldn't think of the name earlier. Sin Piercer. This way, we're gonna drop down there. We're gonna go up to this and hold your lantern out. Not really much out here. We just got a uh, stigma down here. It's kind of interesting for By Byron's story. get back before someone catches on how can time pass so quickly eh? i know before you go i've got you something a pendant byron it's beautiful i know you can't actually wear it in case someone sees it but still i'll take joy in knowing you have it at least as long as you like it of course like i said it's beautiful thank you now i feel bad for not bringing you something you are all I'll ever need, Katrin. I love you. I love you too. I'm gonna throw down a uh, rest spot here. You can see bed. Pretty cool. The giants out there. Always thought that was uh, pretty cool. The atmosphere. Because some of them, you know, you get on in other areas. It's kind of cool. You can see some on other maps that we've been on, you know. 
can see them from different areas and it's kind of cool in this game how the overworld like um you can see it from different places and oh so we did pick up the uh crimson rector armor pretty cool i must say goes with the helm might need to play around with the color options on it but not not bad looking So we got enough to grab a level. We're going to head back to Skyrest quickly. Let's see, I think we need one more for our next. Our holy work continues, Lamp Bearer. Let Aureus's will be done. Two more. I'm trying to remember what I came here for. I'm going to upgrade the shield, though. I don't know what's up with the Light Reaper swords. I think it just has to do with that quest line, but... I've seen other people saying it's still not... Uh, it's still not working right. Like, who completed everything they said, but we'll see. I'll take you there and do uh, Isaac's uh, quest line here soon. So, by the way, don't forget if you go in that back room where the Shrine of Aureus is. There will be a uh, little package of uh, that the developers left because they changed the boss weapons and like how far they can upgrade. But it'll have a few chunks, um, like forty large shards and and so on. So it'll give me enough to fully upgrade several weapons, at least two, and then I think you get a lot more upgraded, if not all the way. That might look pretty good with this. Seems like the neck piece kind of clashes with the masks. Like the chainmail. I like that one, I just don't like the hair on the back. Alright, I cut out socket in my runes and then playing around with the colors, but I finally found the setup I like, so we'll go ahead and head on back. I think this is our closest to the boss here. You just walk out the door and go straight across the bridge. Main thing with these guys is you want to run up to one of them immediately and just start getting all the uh, hits in you can. You can take one of their health down to pretty much almost all the way. Um, if you just immediately rush in and start dealing damage on them. I would also recommend Holy Ward and Smite, um, Smite Resistance of some kind. You can throw on a ring or a, uh, um, a ward or, you know, whatever you need to throw on.
think we're good with all that. We'll go ahead and buff. There's no cutscene, so we should be able to go right in. The trick with these guys is you have to kill both of them in pretty quick succession. We probably should have let his health just a little bit. Until we get this one most of the way down. So they'll cast this spell where uh, these swords will fly at us. And then they do that. When they disappear, they're going to teleport up. And then uh, come down with the overhead slam. The main thing you need to do is uh, just keep dodging the swords. They're going to keep throwing those at you throughout the fight. Just watch the ones coming and going. And uh, then they've got the beams they'll direct at you. It seems like a lot, but it's it's not a uh, particularly long fight. There's the overhead, side dodge. They're going to want to dodge sideways pretty much everything in here. Because most things track straight at you. And he's raising them back up again. Alright, now we can take them both down. I didn't want to kill them too fast where you couldn't even see, you know, what their moveset was and all that. There we go. They're dead both. Then, uh, before one tries to resurrect the other, and then we get their sword, their mask, which is a drop, and divine arms. Which is that spell they just were shooting at us. It's pretty good if you can get those swords to spawn under an enemy because they're just statues they, they won't activate but if you can get the swords to spawn under an enemy before they take off they'll actually do tick damage like boom 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 so it hits like poison or something you know so it'll it, you can get like thousands of damage if you uh, get under a big boss and get the, all the swords spawn under him where, I mean, you can melt the boss in a couple of hits. It's pretty wild. It's almost broken, but I love it. And so, just wanted to mention that. We got the sword here that they dropped. If you want to see it, it's pretty cool looking. Goes well with Bloody Glory if you want to wield two giant bleed swords. There you can see them together. They almost match. Not super fast, but still tons of damage and bleed. As I said, they're all dead. Alright, well that should be pretty much it for this episode. We're going to head on in the next one. You can either go straight into the the Mance of the Hall Sisters or what's it called? It's basically the Sisters area. This is the Brothers area. And uh, I'm blanking on the name of it. But um, you can also go into the Tower of Penance, which we're going to do and I'd recommend... Uh, I think we have a little more in the first tower there. Or it might be the others. I forget which where it is looking outside, but it's the one there's a pendant we need to pick up before we move on. So I will clip that into the next one. And then um, we will move on to the tower of pendants. So see you guys in the next one. Sweaty Zeus, catch you next time.